were asked to ask you your opinion on the uh, retooling of the Minscore moniker, the uh, the, the quote-unquote genre, as you see now. Well, um, it seems that the Minscore thing has become uh, quite big, and uh, well, as long as it means um, uh, the do-it-yourself, the DIY spirit, and uh, go your own way, uh, say no to the mainstream and, and whatever, then then it's all fine with me, and uh, um, just uh, be creative in your own way and mm -hmm. uh, by your own means, mm -hmm. uh, because you can all do it yourself, and. Uh, that's probably the the most important uh, thing about Minscore. Uh, don't let people get you down because they say you can't play good enough uh, or <laughs> shit like that. Uh, I never cared about that. Uh, I know I can't play, but it's fun to make that kind of noise and uh, and release some stuff and then uh, to see that some people uh, enjoy uh, the noise you make. Uh, and, and, and to see the Minscore thing uh, growing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think um, Haggis, they started to, to wear the masks. Yes. And then it yeah. seems like a younger generation, maybe on the internet, they saw this and thought it was kind of cool, and maybe they don't understand the origins, but uh, I think that inherently maybe makes this sort of music progress forward instead of backwards. It's not stuck in, like, for instance, uh, raw punk stuff. It's it's never changing. It's always the same over and over and over and over again. But the raw punk stuff. Yeah, 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 which is what makes it great, but also what can make it a bit tired. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like the kids, like you said, are doing exactly the same thing that you were doing. You were sort of pushing away what was going on around you and doing your own thing, and it seems like something similar is happening with uh, the re... Uh, reconfiguring of what you had originally coined uh, for, for the men's core stuff yes. uh, with, the, with the gore stuff uh, getting involved uh, yeah the gore the stuff term. getting involved and maybe the uh, as you mentioned the upa upa parts kind of uh, being a more of a feature instead of a yeah know, yeah a yeah. side thought mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know what you mean uh, yes but uh, the kids have the internet to look the originals uh, <laughs> and they can read all the lyrics what uh, the men's core thing is about mm -hmm. uh, but I think the the polka beat in the min score and the the, the minimalism in in, in, in the min score uh, are very important uh, features uh, of of the genre. Uh, it's it's minimal music. Um, for me, it's easy listening uh, mm -hmm. and and uh, it's catchy. It's uh, it's kind of a catchy stuff, a catchy riffing. Um, easy for anybody to pick up too, which is yes, good. yes, yes, yep. Yeah, it's like this deep purple riff. Dun, 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 <laughs> Smoke dun, on the water. Dun, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 so let's uh, look Agathocles like that. Uh, da, na, 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 na. So yeah, mm. the Agathocles is the uh, deep purple of grindcore. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your words. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's good. Thank you.